Hey, good morning, grace and peace. Welcome to Find the Intersection. Today is Friday, my favorite day of the week, where we talk about the intersections, the themes, the threads that run through the readings this week. We've had four readings. We've had uh, Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13, which is the temptation of Jesus. We've had Romans 10, 8b to 13, which is a kind of a basics of our faith. The Lord has forgiven our sins, and he is uh, resurrected from the dead. Uh, and then on Ash Wednesday, we had Deuteronomy 26, 1 to 11, which talked about enduring the promised land and a ceremony of gratitude being done for the first fruits or for the harvest. And then finally was Psalm 91, verses 1 to 2, 9 to 16, which was just an amazing psalm of trust. So there wasn't like a major theme, like a real flashing light theme this week for me. Uh, so these three themes... Um, are kind of uh, minor themes that run through the passages. So here we go. The first and foremost was the, the, the idea of calling upon God, calling upon God. Uh, so call, the calling upon God uh, could be found in um, the psalm that we talked about yesterday, where at the end of the psalm it talked about uh, when, when God spoke the last few verses, it talked about um, call upon the Lord and I will hear you and answer you. Uh, in the Romans passage, it was all who call upon, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Uh, so there's the idea of calling. We have the uh, Deuteronomy um, confession ceremony uh, as an idea of calling. But even in the confession, it talked about uh, the Israelites when they were in Egypt called out to God and he heard them. And then in the temptation passage from Luke 4, it talks about uh, Satan uh, tempting Jesus to save himself, to call upon the Lord to save him. So there's even this idea of um, uh, calling upon the Lord in there. Now, two other themes that jumped out was this idea of preparing your hearts, which really ties into Lent. There's this emphasis upon preparing our hearts. Uh, in uh, the Romans passage, it's about faith. In Deuteronomy passage, it's about gratitude. And the Psalm passage is about trust. And so there's these virtues that are a part of it. And of course, Jesus was tempted in his heart, so dealing with temptation. And then the final one that I picked up this week is the idea of true worship uh, versus false, wor false worship. So Satan tempted Jesus in the aspects of what is truly worship uh, of God the Father. Uh, in the Romans, it talks about the basics of our faith as worshiping God as Jesus as the Lord right? And then uh, the Deuteronomy passage is about um, a worship ceremony, a liturgy of bringing our first fruits to God. And then um, the psalm is a psalm of praise and testimony to the Lord um, in which he responds the last few verses. So those three themes this week, calling on God, preparing our hearts, and true worship, uh, weren't flashing lights, weren't real apparent to me, but they're definitely in there as kind of uh, minor threads. Um, so my application this week is the idea of preparing my heart during the season of Lent. Um, and so that's incredibly important. I'm a reflective type of person, so Lent comes very natural to me. Uh, and it could just I could just take it for granted because it comes so naturally. Oh, here's Lent again. I'll fast something. I'll, I'll kind of get quiet and think about it. But I truly want this to be a time of God speaking to me um, in the areas that I need to change, priorities need to shift, um, sin needs to repent, be repented of. So when Easter comes, I have been um, prepared for it to truly experience the resurrection of my own life and in the world around me. Yeah, that's what I got this week. What did you get? Let's see. I want to say hi to some people on here. Amber, hi. How are you? Uh, I see Kelsey's on there. Barry's on there. Quite a few people this morning. I hope you are all having a good morning on this Friday. Can you do me a favor and in the comments, share an intersection. It could just be a word, a phrase, a sentence, whatever, uh, just so I can see what God is doing in your life through the scriptures. So I hope you have a great day today. Uh, happy Friday and a great weekend. And I hope to see you all uh, Sunday at Southside, all those who attend Southside and, and those who attend other churches. I hope you have a great time of worship on Sunday as, as it be the first Sunday of Lent. Take care, everybody. Grace and peace. And we'll be back doing this all over again next week. See you Monday. Take care.